All right, so this one I actually want you to try to draw and guess, see if you can guess what's going on. I'm going to I'm going to have a function here. And I'm going to tell you it goes through this point here 0 1 and at 0 1 the slope of the function is also 1. Okay? Uh, okay. So that looks like it has a slope of 1, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Okay. But this function also has a very special property that the derivative is always equal to the value of the function. So at when x equals 0, y equals 1, or the function itself equals 1, and that means the slope is 1. So as the function grows a little bit, what does that mean about the slope at the next point over here? It will get taller. Yeah. So what does that mean? Why don't you draw what you think the slope might be over here? So it might kind of increase. Okay, so it, it goes up like that. And then it'll get taller and taller. Why? Because as, as a y keeps getting big, like the y value, it keeps getting bigger and bigger, and then I mean, the slope keeps getting steeper and steeper. Okay, so the higher up it goes, what happens? The steeper it gets. The steeper it gets. And then it might, well, it might decrease over here. Ah, okay, so there, over there it's going down, so it's flattening out as you go that way. Okay, so then it goes down lower and lower and lower. And then it's approaching zero. Ah, do you think it ever gets to zero? Maybe when, maybe when it's like negative infinity or something, it will reach zero. Okay, before negative infinity or after negative infinity? Exactly, at negative infinity. All right. Why do you think it would be difficult for this function to get to zero in a finite amount of time? Well, what would it? What would happen if it ever got to zero? It's odd because like dx, the, the slope would kind of would be zero. The slope would be zero, and what would that mean well, it then? Means the line at, is, at that point, the line is along the axis. Right, the it would axis. be pointing directly parallel with the x-axis. So the next point, but it, thinking about it simplistically, would be where below. Below the x-axis. Why? Or on the x-axis. Well, which, which do you think? I mean, it's hard to think about. It. Oh, I know. I know. Like, That's a good challenge problem. So if the slope is always equal to the value of the function, and the function hits zero, what does that mean about the slope? Well, the slope, it can't go any lower. Or, or the slope has to start becoming negative. Why do you say that? Tell me what you're thinking. Well, the slope, we're looking at positive values right now. When y gets negative, shouldn't this function sort of do the same thing but in the negative direction? Okay, but could it ever get negative? If it starts positive, could it ever get negative? So I'm asking you, what would happen if this function ever hit zero? What would happen? Well, I think it would just, the, all the points after that would be on the the x-axis. Why? Because this the slope will just the it won't, the x value won't ever the y value won't ever change anymore. Why not? Because you're on the x-axis. Okay, and what's happening? It's as it's always zero. What is always zero? The output of your function is always zero. Why? Why is that true? Because the the derivative of this function is when it reached zero. The derivative reached zero, and so that means. That means the slope. The slope is zero. The slope is zero. And it can't go any lower. Can't go any lower. Okay, so if this and function ever hits zero, it'll just. It has to stay at zero. So do you think it ever hits zero? No, not in a finite in amount a finite. of time. Do you think it ever crosses over zero? No. No. Because yeah, I can't get it lower. Yeah, and what do you think would happen then? Since you since you mentioned it, what if what if we ha started down here instead of minus one, instead of starting at one, what would happen to this function? Well, as you got, what would the slope be here first of all? So, it would, the slope would be minus one. The slope would be minus one. And then as you got more negative, so it might kind of approach zero again. As you got less negative, it would approach zero. Okay. As you got more negative, it would, it would do, just it, go off. Like what do you opposite. mean more negative? Like. 
more the like, down in the like minus ten okay. instead of minus one. All right, so we're just gonna flip this. So one. It's like a mirror image. Yeah, but it's interesting. It can't ever cross over. <coughs> it never does. Does this function look like anything that you've ever seen before? It looks sort of like a hyperbola. Sort of does. Does it look like anything you've ever seen before? Edge. Okay. Alright, well, let's go look on the computer upstairs and see what it is. Okay.